Are you feeling embarrassed to face the outer world? Are you feeling depressed? Are you going through frustration? Then you are at the right place. Stay tuned. Hello everyone. Welcome to Gracie Beauty Vlogs. Today I'm going to talk about acne and its impact on the emotional health. So let's begin. What exactly is acne? Acne is a common inflammatory skin disorder and is estimated to affect 9% of the worldwide population. Acne occurs when hair follicles become clogged with dead skin cells and sebum. This creates a perfect environment for the bacteria to multiply and it actually goes deeper inside into the skin and then it affects the sebaceous gland and call this leads to inflammation swelling and also redness acne primarily affects the face and neck and it may also be present on the upper arm and trunk on the trunk and also on the back acne is very much common in young adults and in teenagers so basically it may start from the age of 12 years old onwards however acne may occur at any age and has a lifetime prevalence of approximately 85 percent acne appears to affect some ethnicities differently as well it has been observed that it is much more common in asian and african people rather than whitish people or caucasian skin Overall, about 20% of the individuals affected with acne will experience severe cases that lead to scarring. Acne is characterized by four grades which vary in severity. Grade 1 comprises of open comatons and closed comatons. Open comatons means trapped sebum are there just on the surface of the hair follicle. And closed comatons means sebum which is trapped beneath the surface of the skin grade 2 comprises of small papules and and also pimples grade 2 acne comprises of small papules and also small pimples which may lead to lesions after a certain period of time grade 3 acne comprises of pimples and pustules which may lead to inflammation which could also lead to swelling redness redness grade 4 comprises of pimples pustules and also which may turn into nodules and cystic acne so this is a very severe form and this needs medical attention now let us understand the psychological effects I have come across with a lot of people with acne concerns most of the time I have seen them how desperate they want to correct the condition correct the situation because this is associated with self-image this leads to anxiety this leads to depression and frustrations sometimes they don't want to face the world outside they don't want to go to the school if it happens with the teenagers sometimes they don't want to face people they don't want to face any friends with a better skin condition because they feel very much affected by the societal norms sometimes bullying is there name calling is there this leads or this prevents them to go to school as well so this increases the overall mental trauma of the individual individuals may experience fear of rejection loneliness frustration rejection and sometimes jealousy of seemingly perfect skin altogether this may lead to both mild or severe acne cases a very negative emotional experience emotional stress from acne may truly impact everyday life in unfortunate ways so what can be done in this situation my ardent request to all the individuals who are suffering from this condition is please don't give up please don't get into depression because of the situation 
help is at hand you just need to visit the right person for your concerns before trying out any products before trying out any kind of treatments first of all you need to find out the reason why this is happening so there are many reasons which could lead to this situation it may happen due to comedogenic products which may be or comedogenic ingredients which may be present in your cosmetics this could also occur due to hormonal imbalance this may also happen due to this condition can also occur because of lack of proper diet because of lack of proper skin care regimen also it may occur because of unhealthy lifestyle and also due to lack of hygiene acne can also develop because of certain health concerns like pcod and pcos so these are the concerns which really leads to these problems nowadays so please do not worry you just need to find out the reason why you are getting this problem acne may also occur because of the dandruff issues when we see lot of acne a lot of you know pimples on the forehead area so this could be the reason behind that sometimes we also use certain oils on our face like coconut oil is not supposed to be used on the face because it may cause acne so just actually find the reason and then you can easily find the solution if you know the problem in my next video i am going to talk about the solutions which will help you to get out of this situation so please like share and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos more informative videos like this thank you for watching my channel see you soon